having me. Uh, let's just start with the bigger picture, um, what you're seeing day, day in, day out when it comes to the state of the economy through your own businesses. Well, through our businesses, it's very mixed. We have some business that we've never done better. Uh, and so things like lumber has been very, very good. The automobile retail business has been very, very good, both new and used cars. Of course, the grocery stores are doing fine. On the other side of the coin, we have things like Ripley's Believe It or Not Entertainment has been hit significantly. Our, like our, apart from our entertainment, billboards, advertising is down, radios off, uh, and so, uh, and then the Great Wolf Lodge things, entertainment type of things, is uh, is they've still been all they've been closed almost a year now. And and so what? ultimately becomes the biggest wild card for you. You, you. you mentioned the businesses that are doing well, but for the businesses that have challenges, what's the most important thing you're wondering and waiting to see? Well, it's going to be when travel starts to come back and people uh, are interested again into entertainment and that type of thing, uh, that part of the business has been hit. Uh, fairly significantly. Anything to do with travel, hotels, entertainment. I guess that feeds into um, the government's response to the pandemic, and obviously we continue to see a whole host of travel restrictions. How have you felt about the handling of the COVID-19 pandemic at the, at the government level? What, you mean the provincial or federal? I mean, I guess it's that's a good question. I guess I'm talking about all of it because everybody has a hand in that. You're right. Well, I think that they, I think the government has handled it pretty well. Uh, so the provincial governments in British Columbia, where I live, has been has been uh, very good, in my opinion. And uh, and of course, the federal government, they've had their their ways of doing things and. But overall, I, I don't have any big complaints. I guess for, for those travel-related uh, businesses, um, at what point do you have to make tougher decisions on the road ahead? Uh, how, much, how much time do you have, if you will, to sort of figure out, uh, you know, getting through this vaccine and then what happens to business? Well, we're going we're gonna, to, of course, follow the rules. Uh, yeah. that whatever they are, and as they change, we'll, we'll take advantage of any more travel. Nobody's traveling these days to speak of. And uh, so travel has been out. Everything that we've done is, you know, basically on Zoom or, you know, uh, the telephone, that type of thing. But travel is out for us these days. So, so having calls with your teams all over Zoom, I, I would imagine having conversations around deals, too. I mean, in, in times like this, are you finding that people are knocking on your door, talking to you about doing potential deals? Are you thinking about being opportunistic, if you will, and, and, and doing some deals during this downturn? Actually, we have been doing uh, uh, some, some new transactions uh, with this uh, COVID. We have... We just bought a company in Seattle uh, in the last uh, three or four weeks, and our our management went down to Seattle and and did the the transaction and and then came back and of course they they uh, quarantined and all the things that you have to do with these things. You know, it's interesting, and, and as we think about uh, a deal activity, and, and you've talked to us about forestry, which is a sector uh, you've been tied to for many years, and uh, we're, we're getting ready to see that uh, uh, vote on the West Fraser Norboard deal, uh, which you have supported. Uh, we should just confirm uh, you, you're still very much uh, behind that deal. Absolutely. It's uh, the folks that are involved in the, the transaction are first class on both sides. You know, it's interesting. It has been amazing to watch, and you, you highlight it with, with the various businesses you have, what parts of the economy are doing well. Um, housing, certainly in this country, has been doing well. We have seen that benefit the forestry sector, uh, especially in a city like yours in Vancouver, where prices continue to stay strong. What's been your assessment of all of that? 
Well, people are in where I live in Vancouver. People are not going out. Uh, the restaurants are quiet. Downtown is quiet. Uh, people, there's a lot of people working from home, and uh, it's very different uh, than had than what has been normal over the years that I've lived here. You know, it's interesting. We beyond talking about the price of homes, uh, even today, we just ran a report on what's been happening with auto prices. Uh, that's a huge industry for you as well. Um, can you give us a sense on what's been happening in that side of your business during the pandemic? The automobile side? Yeah. Well, the automobiles, <coughs> people have, uh, have uh, I've never seen the car business as good as it is today. It's, <coughs> people in the last few months, uh, and I've been in it all ever since, I was 18 years old. I got involved with washing cars, then selling used cars, and so on. And but people do not want to ride the bus to the degree that they have been, or transit, whatever the transit is. Uh, people don't want to be in carpools to the degree that they've been in carpools. So we see uh, people buying more and more used cars, uh, as well as new and low-priced new cars, and uh, certainly. The business has acted very, very well. That part of the end you know, of this part of the economy. And it's interesting. There's big demand for um, traditional automobiles, and then there's uh, a lot of excitement, and you see this every day in the stock market, for uh, renewable energy and, and the, the excitement surrounding a company like Tesla. Um, as you know, we are about to see President-elect Joe Biden inaugurated, and, and he's somebody like uh, the prime minister in this country who has talked a lot about the green economy. How is that reshaping your business? <clears throat> well... Certainly, uh, we're very supportive of the improving the environment uh, and helping do our part of, of that. Uh, but certainly, it's a slow transition. I mean, the automobiles uh, use gasoline, and, uh, and that, has to go, that has to go. And there will be, of course, a move, more and more people moving to electric cars and uh, and hydrogen is out there somewhere it certainly is and we see that reflected in, in a number of stocks we talk a lot about ballard speaking of the stock market jimmy what has been your general observation to try to save the economy we saw governments throw a lot of money uh, into the economy we have seen central banks uh, keep interest rates low and and go into the bond market and buy at astonishing rates so we're talking about near record highs for stocks um, as a longtime business owner how have you felt about the the market this year well, the market has been very good in a lot of uh, a lot of industries. Certainly, with interest rates so low, it's been very attractive for that people in the in the construction business or housing, and uh, backing up as you just said into lumber. And uh, there's a lot of incentives there uh, to uh, help the people today. In, in all levels of the economy, uh, but certainly there's industries that have really been hit hard, and of course transportation is one of them, and going out to industries, hotels, those kind of things. People are generally speaking, where I live certainly,